I'm Jessa. And I'm Alex. And this is Jessa and Alex Watch, Matilda. Jessa, you have never seen Matilda. I have not. Matilda is one of my absolute favorite movies. Obviously, I watched it when I was a kid, and it filled me and my home with magic and with Aww. hope and with joy. Aww. And I just, I, I love it to this day. And of course, I know Mara Wilson. I mean, I know her yes. from, uh, uh, you know, from life. <laughs> No! Uh, 20, uh, Miracle on 31st. No. That one. And the other one with Robin Williams. Hello! Um, oh, Mrs. Doubtfire. Mrs. Doubtfire. And also, like, uh, she's uh, grown up to be a really interesting person. Yeah, she's I like writer. her a lot. I like her reflections on being a child actor. She's very mm -hmm. smart. Yeah, she's really cool, um, and she's an absolute delight in this. I, I really think you're going to really enjoy this movie. Well, uh, let's get into it. Let's do it. I'm not paying it. What are you gonna do? Repossess the kids? Huh. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Oh my. Matilda, it's a miracle that you made it out of the parking lot. <laughs> they named her Matilda. <laughs> oh, Matilda look at that little baby. Baby. I just. Oh. Soup's on the stove. Heat it up if you get hungry. <laughs> it's three year old. Cute. I know. <laughs> what a beautiful little children's library space. The Hobbit. She had such a little serious face. Mm -hmm. I'm six and a half, mommy. Five then. This is not a negotiation. I'm a marshmallow. I'm another marshmallow. Right, Dudley. Leave. Sometimes Matilda longed for a friend. Someone like the kind, courageous people in her books. Such people might exist only in storybooks. We sell some cars today, honey, do? This outfit. <laughs> She's amazing. I love her. It cost $320. I sold it for $1,158. Oh, it's a lot of markup. <laughs> Look at her eyeshadow. It is insane. What was my profit for the day? Could you repeat the last $10, one? $10,265. Check it if you don't believe me. <laughs> You're a little cheat. You saw the paper. I'm all the way over here. <laughs> Ma'am, I don't think you need more curlers in your hair. No. What? It's gonna burn. Oh my god, I would love an ego. There's nothing like a toaster waffle, I swear. <laughs> Today we diddle the custom. Ew. <laughs> Giving us stellar for oh my god, this what did you do to your head? amazing. <laughs> he got a pretty good color. I over that top Charlie. layer. I've got 918. 917 is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Sawdust quiets the ears and lets the engine run as sweet as it. I learned that from the Andy Griffith show. That's that's a that's a direct line from that episode of the Andy Griffith show. This is illegal. <laughs> Do it, Matilda. <laughs> Look at this outfit. Oh, she's a star. The red. Oh. Look at this design. Oh. <laughs> oh beautiful designs. about their love for each other even though they're terrible people <laughs> yeah like they found each other in this world are you in this family Oh my god, I never noticed the teeth on her belt. Before. Yeah. This little boy is... I love her. She's so cute. 
Who did this to that child? <laughs> oh, how cute she is. Oh, her glasses are bigger than her whole head. Yes. <laughs> Where are the police? Amaro <laughs> 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 escaped. 13 times 379. 4927. <laughs> yeah, take out that paper, Miss Honey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Matilda should probably be in a higher grade. Aw, this makes me miss school. So cute. Miss Honey, you can't steal your children. <laughs> I've seen this so many times, they got me. <laughs> if you think watching some rotten TV show is more important than your daughter, then maybe you shouldn't be a parent. Oh. What'd you do that for? You have Velasquez on the rope. Velasquez? <laughs> miss Snit. Girl does not get any this hair. Amazing. Take a look at you and me. You chose books. I chose looks. <laughs> you want Matilda to go to college? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you stand in the middle of the ring? You stand in the middle of the ring. Oh. And it was the most scrumptious cake in the entire world. My mom's is better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Ugh. <laughs> I hate this scene. They just collect packages. No, no, no. They're stolen car parts. Oh, okay. Look at their <laughs> their dinner. These. <laughs> you are such an ignoramus. There was a speedboat. Ma'am. <laughs> I would have loved this movie as a kid. Never rocks far from the tree. I'm so scared of the chokey. Yes. were harmed in the making of Matilda. Thanks for not telling. Best friends don't tell. She can really dance. <laughs> I just love Roald Dahl's commitment to experiencing everything from that like child's perspective where everything is wild and crazy yeah. and huge. <laughs> Congratulations, Matilda. You have leveled up. I don't like that she has to relive her trauma to exit. It's yeah, her it's very sad. Honestly, opening a cardboard carton with your mind would be a great skill because opening it with your fingers, impossible. A search warrant to do this? Nah, this guy's dirty. Once we show this tape in court. That's not how that works. Yeah, fellas. you still need a search warrant. Any evidence you find in an illegal search will be thrown out, which can destroy your entire case. Yes, I do listen to a lot of true crime podcasts. <laughs> it's the female minor. <laughs> what do you say? There's another crime in the making. Your car is about to run a stop sign. Love your hero sayings, um, <laughs> Matilda. <laughs> Still have the wrappings on it. Not terrifying at all. Why does the Lucy doll look just like Matilda though? Maybe she had a twin and got enchanted into a doll farm. It's <laughs> not a ghost, it's just a telekinetic little girl. 
<laughs> no more Miss Nice Girl. <laughs> and I have the character. That's true, ma'am. That's her signature look. I break your arm once before I can do. Oh my god. I just really think if you're superstitious, you shouldn't kill anybody. Mm hmm. Like, it seems like tempting fate. <laughs> Movie as a kid. I know. I hate right? that I never saw it. That was little. So oh. oh, yes. It. Oh, it just it hits me right in all the heart yeah. strings. Oh, that's so sweet. Also, I just wanted to be a magical child so yes. bad. <laughs> independent. That like child being really yeah. independent is such a draw when you're little. I think that's like any. That's why, of course, like. Mm -hmm. In a child fantasy, they don't have parents, or the parents are gone, or whatever. Because right. that's the the fantasy when you're little. Yeah, and it's like I had a very happy childhood. I don't know why this movie is yeah. like. Oh. I just wanted to find the Miss Honey and go live in a cottage. Every child has a period, at least, where they dream of being an orphan. It seems very romantic when you're little <laughs> yes. to need parents that you don't. I used to love to tie little um scarves around sticks and pretend. That I was yes. leaving <laughs> home forever. Yeah. Again, very lovely childhood. <laughs> I didn't want for much. It was just yeah. you know, the fantasy, it the is. weird yeah. kid fantasy. Thank you so much for sharing. That's what's so cool. Aw, I'm so glad I saw this. So sweet. And thank you all for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Why don't you tell us in the comments below what your favorite children's movie is, what it was that you loved growing up? And uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel and see our other stuff. And, uh, you know, hit the little notification bell so you always know when new material comes out. Thank you.